Hundreds of aggrieved customers of struggling fund managers, Gold Coast Fund Management, are demonstrating to pile pressure on the company's management to pay back their locked up investments. This is just one of the many protests that have hit the company in recent times as many financial institutions go through turbulent times. Gold Coast Security, a member of Group Indum, has been struggling to keep afloat and pay their customers. My colleague PSCA Nanayao joins me with more. Nanayao, good morning. Okay. Hello, PSCA, good morning. PSA, if you can hear me, can you bring us up to speed with what the demonstrators are doing now? Oh, 15 minutes from the Obra Sport, where the demonstration began today. Um, the citizens you can see behind me are the aggrieved customers of the Gold Coast Fund Management Limited. Many of them have been pouring in from part of Accra all morning. And as you can see, most of them are holding are, are, are in, in arms in arms on the mission. Some of the placards here you can read are uh, uh, Dr. Indum is worse than Nam One. Uh, Mr. President, your children are dying. Also, Dr. Indum, bring back the money of our pensioners. I'll be speaking to some of them now um, shortly for their views or, and why exactly they are here. And PSA Nanayao is out there with the demonstrators um, who are asking for their monies back. They're asking that payments be made back to them um, because their payments have been withheld for a while. We're going to try and get back to him um, now. PSA, can you hear me? And they've just moved, they've just started the demonstration, uh, moving from the Obrash spot, and we are trying to get back in touch with him. PSA, good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning, Enumwa. Hi, I hope you're well. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Okay. Can you um, give us a, a brief update or a situational report of exactly what is going on? Yes, it has been about uh, close to 25 minutes now since we left of Brassport, scores of people here, a hundred, uh, I should say, um, from ranging from mothers and fathers, and a few young ones among them, um, all a group calling themselves the uh, uh, a coalition of aggrieved customers for the Gold Coast um, Fund Management. And here also are the Ghana Police Service ensuring that the roads which are taken from um, Seco all the way to the Jubilee House, they are able to go there simply without any intervention whatsoever. Yeah. Okay, you mentioned that they're walking from Circle to Jubilee House. Do they intend to present a petition or is it just to stand in front of the Jubilee House to make their case? Um, could you come again on that question? You mentioned that they're walking from Circle to Jubilee House. Yes. Do they intend to present a petition? Or are they planning on just standing in front of Jubilee House to make their case? Yes, we, we, are, we have been told they plan to uh, present a petition. The PRO of the uh, coalition here, in the person of Mr. Charles Nyame, he has uh, told us they, they have plans of doing so. But first, they will get to the Ministry of Finance, where they plan on um, seeing the finance minister on the matter before proceeding to the Jubilee House in Accra. Okay, PSA, please hold on to me whilst we play the sound of um, Mr. Charles Nyame, who spoke to us a little earlier on and informing us about exactly what it is that the petition will be asking. It's the beginning of this crisis, and let's balance it with the amount that they have not paid. We are talking of investment over 5 billion Ghana cities. So if you come out to say that you have paid 60 million, what have you done? What have you done? So it is neither here nor there. But the investment came with a contract signing. And the contract signing was guided by timelines. When I'm signing my money there, 
I will either try to invest it on a portfolio of three months. And per my decision, after the three months, I will either instruct whether the investment should be rolled over for another six months, or I will take both my capital and the interest. Per the investment that we had, our maturity dates are long overdue. And it is within our dictate, our sole prerogative dictate, to decide whether the investment should roll over or not. So upon the agreement that we had with them, we are supposed to have received our investment plus the interest in full, in full. So we are requesting them to pay us in full with its accrued interest. We don't want any long-term investment because some of us are businessmen and we put the money there for three months. When we got we get contracts, we go and take and go and spend it on the contract. So if you are going to spend three years, four years to pay, what good are you doing me? So we don't we are we are demanding for immediate full payment from the company.